This is my first time at E3. This is so fantastic to be here. It's really exciting to see all these amazing games, uh, all these amazing people that made these games and are excited to play these games. And it's just fantastic to be here. I think it's very cool to be alongside all of these other games. Like there's such a great selection here and a lot of games that like I'm a fan of as well. And it's cool to see my stuff next to them and being here at E3 and having the opportunity to also like literally be this close to the Nintendo booth is pretty wild and pretty fun. <laughs> It's, the games biz is, is difficult right now. There's a lot of games out, a lot of great publishers, a lot of great uh, game companies come to events like this and publishers will be hungry. Like, you know, they're always looking for the next big thing. I was making this game in complete obscurity. I had never made anything before. I'm not some famous person. I showed at a two hour slot at IndieCade East in 2014. I did a three minute presentation to about 50 people. I thought it went okay. Two weeks later, I got an email from Sony saying, hey, do you want to be a PlayStation 4 game? Since then, it's been a wild ride. They took me to multiple E3s, IndieCades, PlayStation Expos, and have gotten me you know, to where I am today. So I owe everything to IndieCade. Thank you, thank you, thank you. IndieCade has been one of the foundational uh, organizations in creating what we understand as independent games today. I'm always really happy to be involved with IndieCade because I think the mission of bringing together a community of game designers to an audience that doesn't even know about those games is really what we need to be doing on the side of independent games. 2005, uh, we made a game called Cloud and win the student award. And if I didn't go to that uh, festival, I would not have met my co-founders of that game company. And I probably would not found a company. And there would be no uh, flow, flower, journey, and sky today. I have been a follower of Indicate for a long time. It's my first time showing here with Indicate, but I think the commitment of Indicate to the independent uh, games industry is super relevant uh, on this day and age. Think about this, Kill Squad is self-funded, self-published, done and raised in Barcelona, Spain. So without someone like Indicate, we wouldn't be here. I love Indicate, I love Indies, I love meeting developers who are working on amazing and interesting projects. Um, I just really like the community a lot. Indicate is, is is amazing and fascinating because well it's so unique. Every table is so unique, and all the people here they're all here for their own reason, right? They're all here to develop their own games in their own way. I make games because I want to leave a positive footprint on this world, right? I want to make the world a better place. I've been with Indicate for over four or five years now. I'm one of the curators for the exhibits and selecting the games. Also a juror. Indicate provides the best selection of games in the whole country. It's like a, a showcase of artwork. IndieCade's like such a great experience for me. Uh, I'm a very new developer to the game uh, industry and they've been such a great uh, entry for, for me to launch my platform. About IndieCade, I think it is the absolute best part of the E3 floor. You know, you're gonna see the AAA stuff on YouTube afterwards, you'll see the press releases, but I, I honestly think all the best ideas are here in the IndieCade booth and it's an amazing opportunity for companies like ours to be showcased at a place like this and to just get our game in front of so many people, gamers, publishers, influencers, like the amount of people coming by and just being excited about the stuff here is incredible. My first big deal was during an Indicate. We are from El Salvador and we don't have a lot of opportunities to get with big publishers or big consoles. And we got our first deal with PlayStation at Indicate. My favorite thing about Indicate is the way it encompasses such a range of what video games can do. Not just the video games, but the tabletop and the experiments that maybe aren't what the audience might typically call a game, right? Like, I love seeing the, the creative potential for the medium get explored by people who are really passionate and excited about it. IndieCade is the intersection of everything I love. So like, when I walked in here, I was like, wow, this is Disneyland. And then IndieCade has this booth where it's like, all these things that you never knew existed, made by people who just love to create and explore and answer the question, what if? I think the coolest thing about IndieCade is the community it fosters. Uh, two years ago, I brought my very first game to IndieCade, and we had like 200 people sign up for the mailing list and say, how do I get your game? And then those people have backed our Kickstarter, I love Indicate. Indicate is what got me in the game, you know? Um, I was doing games journalism. Like, I met all these cool indie developers and seeing their games, and I was like, mm, you don't seem like you're that mythical. Like, it seems very, like, human what you're doing, so I think I might be able to do it too. So through that, you know, it's a long story, but I'm making games now. But Indicate is what got me started. 
I love IndieCade. It's always on the cutting edge of innovation. It's always exciting, it's always new, and there's always something special to see at IndieCade. IndieCade is a wonderful platform for independent and small press publishers to get exposed outside of that, and it's just a wonderful home for us. I think IndieCade is amazing because we can see and celebrate what indie devs are doing all around the world. We're a international remote working studio between, with team members between London, Thailand, Taiwan, and Hong Kong. One of the best ways to compete is through ingenuity of idea and understanding the the part of life that your game fits into. I'm from Sweden, Malmö, and we're here with the Transcenders Media team, me and Pixie, who's made Knife Sisters, a visual novel. We make games because we love expressing ourselves in game form. I'm the producer and director for the Tiny Metal, and I'm part of the Area 35 development team from Tokyo, Japan. Indicate is exciting because there's so much games around. Um, so many talented people from all over the world and um, I've just I just made so many friends just then in the, in the past few minutes. Uh, it's very exciting to be part of Indicate. Indicate is awesome because I wouldn't get the opportunity to come to E3 otherwise. My specific game isn't one that I can sell on a mass market super easily, but with Indicate giving me the opportunity to show up, show off our awesome alternative controller, we can sh share it with the world. I'm the game designer slash co-founder uh, at Affable Games in Brisbane, Australia. Indicate is awesome. I feel like I'm in uh, Ivy League for it, like indie games, you know? Like it, the caliber of games in this little section of E3 is amazing. And I'm very proud to be among such awesome developers. You guys are like super supportive. You helped so much with all of the little things. Like I don't think we definitely couldn't have come to E3 without you guys. We are a team of eight over in Montreal, Canada. And we are making a game called Boyfriend Dungeon. So IndieCade is really exciting because you have so many awesome games around. There's so many different kinds of games that you might not see anywhere else. And IndieCade is a perfect place to find that, especially here on E3. IndieCade's dope because the games here are really eclectic. They're really unusual and they're all just really high quality. Like I've been to a lot of trade shows where I get sandwiched between two like, I, I don't know, like just cookie cutter 2D shooter. Everything here is something I haven't seen before. The games are all chill and interesting, and I feel like we slot right in. I'm the senior games outreach person at Kickstarter. Um, I've been at Kickstarter about three years, and I've been in games 11 years. I really enjoy the quality of games at IndieCade. E3 is really about sort of celebrating AAA, which is which is great, and I'm glad that exists. IndieCade is about the niche the niche games that are much more interesting and complex. I've been to IndieCade uh, West and IndieCade East. I haven't been to IndieCade Europe though. Early, early in the ideas process, I think. I hope this will get into IndieCade because I know it's the way to get the right audience, to get the right credibility, and to get the right best be in the right kind of festival to have some fun with it. IndieCade is amazing for so many reasons. It gives a platform for indie game developers who are doing interesting, unique, quirky, amazing, beautiful things to show their work to the world. And it also gives the world a chance to experience um, games and ideas and interactive experiences that you really can't find anywhere else. And that is something that's truly magical. Um, and, and I think it just, it, it contributes so much to the game industry and to culture and art and everything um, on so many levels. It's, it's really a phenomenal, um, experience and program. I love everything about IndieCade. I think truly the best part is the, 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 the community that has built up around it. I think there's very little place for kind of experimentation, uh, especially even places like E3 like this. But IndieCade is truly one of the places that lets people that have a different voice and a different perspective and different experiences to show in, and be creative have a home. I think IndieCade is an awesome place. You have like really cool board games. Um, you have like the more like triple, like my game I'd say is a little more triple A ish um, if it weren't for the VR aspect. But you have like a whole range of all kinds of like AR games and just like everything. I've been with IndieCade since 2012. In 2007, I believe, was the first E3. IndieCade at E3 2019 has been wonderful. It's been amazing. The developers have had a great show. There's been a ton of media here, a lot of players. It's gone really well. Make sure to check out our website, www.indicate.com. This year, the festival is in Santa Monica, California. Go online, check it out. <laughs>